He was one of two athletes in the teen division to defeat stage three, beat all three stages, just got bumped out on time by the last runner, Caden Lubsack, and he would love to get some revenge on Caden here today. A rematch in the works between Caden and Noah, and here goes Noah to start things off. Yeah, I was talking with his coach, Jordan Thurston, and he has a lot of high hopes for this athlete right here. Um, and Noah's feeling ready. I was uh, at dinner with him last night and I just asking, you know, curious to see if burnout was a thing for any of these younger athletes, if they were frustrated with the long season. But Noah said he felt ready. He felt very confident. And um, his coach also has a lot of confidence in him as well. He really feels that if Noah makes it to stage three, he's, he's going to be quite unstoppable. So this rematch you're talking about, Alex, 100%. I, I'm here for it. I think we're going to see it, and I, I can't wait to see the outcome. Well, he is so powerful. He's so good at Lachey's, and he is fast. He is motoring through this stage, not with the fastest pace. Now, this is interesting. He locked that barrel, I was, or locked the ring. I was almost wondering if he was going to skip the barrel. We tested that last night, and that is part of the reason why it's horizontal, because we figured out that it was possible if the barrel was horizontal to skip it. Instead, it's vertical. That's what I meant to say. I'm too busy watching Noah tear <laughs> up this course. Take All that, right. Kate. Noah Munier with the second, third fastest time, I should say. And ladies and gentlemen, I, you know, it's just the beginning, right? This is just the beginning of some very exciting storylines that we're going to see play out today. This matchup between Noah and Caden, a rematch from last year's World Championships. 